What's going on guys? Big Time Mountain here. And today, I am excited to show you guys the Q Beta Update 4 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. We finally get a working beta. Not those lazy, you know, betas that OnePlus has been releasing lately. Those bare bones. Today we actually get something that's worth uh, checking out. So without further ado, let's get into it guys. So as you can see, right off the top, we got a normal, you know, regular lawn tray with the shelves on the side. We got a lot of things that change though. A lot of things change guys. Um, as you can see, this looks the same, you know, it's nice and fluid this time around. It's not laggy, it's not that buggy, or I don't even wanna say that buggy because I haven't seen anything yet but let's go into the setting because that's something that i want to show you guys it changed as you can see everything's different i mean what appears to be different but it's in different order so for example if you go to display you got all your ambient display your screen refresh and all the good stuff there right what I really want to show you guys, you notice how I swipe from the bottom? Doesn't do anything? Yeah, because they changed and now we have the new gestures like the pixel. So now you gotta do it from the side. See that? So we have that. We also have customization. Now this looks pretty new. This wasn't here. I don't think it was here um, before. No, it wasn't. I don't think it was here. So as you can see, um, now you could choose wallpapers, your clock style, your fingerprint animation straight from here, and then your horizon light. Let's click on that real quick. Now you can change colors. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool, right? So, let's go with, um, yeah, I'll just go with that one for now. So, from there, you could also change a lot of things. You know, they have pre-selected here ones. You could change however you want it to look, and it'll change. Mine was white at the beginning default, um, but now I changed it. Even the buttons, look at this. Wow, so much customization, guys. Look, look at this. You could change the shapes from here, and even the icon packs. Like, this is really, really cool. I actually like that. And then you can even change your text if you want. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have your sound and vibration. Now, this is the next thing I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, we have the normal alert slider. We have the quick gestures, but right here. See, I have hidden bar, but if you, as soon as you activate it, It'll be like this. It'll be kind of like the pixel with the little bar there. But for me, the reason I would have kept it, because honestly, I, I would have kept it. I like that. You see how it looks? But here's the reason why I, I don't. I didn't keep it. You see that? You see that white bar on the bottom? So like, let's just say I go to here. We go to the to the website. It annoys me. You see that right there on the bottom? You see, it, it's it's the little right there. There's like a space, so I, I it's annoying. You know when I'm scrolling, it's annoying to me. And let me show you guys. So like if I go like this, see that's a cool feature. I like that, but you can only get that with that with the new uh, with that pixel bar. But if I hide it, like I usually do with the OnePlus gestures, you have to do it like the old way. Except for now to go back, go back here. And to go back to the app, we do the normal, you know, it's cool. But see, that little gap is gone. We have the full screen. So we utilize more of the screen. And that's why I went and, you know, I opted, I opted into, hide it because I just can't stand to see the little gap there so let's go back 
and let's see what else we have here i mean everything works you can even go back from this side i think yep see you know we got the utilities everything seems to work this is so cool you know guys um everything's really really working great we got the fingerprint you know um everything works really good now let's see what else we have here okay get the location it shows you who's using location now your apps notification your digital well-being i just installed it guys so that's why it looks like that you got your battery your storage your about phone so let's go home and you see even as you can see now the wi-fi i don't know if you can see that but even the wi-fi it changes like before it would only show like a full bar and now depending on you're at and depending how the wi-fi signal is it'll go up or down and you'll see it get full or you know deplete and that's how you can tell how your wi-fi signal is that's pretty cool um what else do we have here um you know uh, it's really fluid i think this might be a daily driver i honestly do think guys that finally we're getting you know to play with the beta with the q beta that's functional so thank you OnePlus for listening to us and releasing a proper Q beta. Yeah, we were tired of, 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 you know, whatever you were releasing before. So guys, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Now we have something we could really look forward to. So as always guys, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for the feedback and I'll check you guys out in the next video.